What's happening with it? What's happening with it? What's up, Matthew? How you doing, bro? How you doing, Matthew? Man, I'm trying to get this to find some driving guys. I'm trying to get all this. Got to do it. What's good, man? Who is that? Who is that? Matthew, what's happening with you, bro? What's going down with everybody, man? How's everybody living, bro? How's life? I know life is good if you're retaining your seed, bro. I'll tell you that much, man. It just feels so good. You feel so good, bro. I'm telling you, man. This is like the most unbelievable, bro. The most unbelievable feeling and journey that I can imagine I could ever do, bro. Like, I'm like, for real, bro. I'm for real, bro. And this ain't cocky, man. This is like movie star energy, bro. Like, I kid you not, bro. I kid you not. I talk about this day in and day out with y'all, man. And I'm trying to tell you what it is that I experience on the daily. And then, just to check myself, just in case I'm tripping, I check out what we call the SR community. And I go around and I see what they say. And these cats is jumping out of their pants, bro. And they on six months. They jumping out of their pants, bro. And they on three months. They don't want to sit here and try to guess what it's like from somebody being on a year. Somebody being on two years. They can't even imagine what that person life is going to be like. When I tell you, bro, they are going to hate you, bro, on retention. Man, listen, I'm a positive dude. I'm positive wherever I go, bro. Okay. I put out the best energy wherever I go, bro. And sometimes people who are in that lower frequency sometimes those people out there who have depleted their sexual energy bro those people bro they are real sensitive they're real irritable and when they see somebody coming in that take care of themselves they see somebody that come in that really really has high respect and self-love they get irritated, bro. They get irritated. And you don't even be doing nothing. Bro, I'm cool as the breeze. I'm cooler than the AC, bro, on a 90 degree day in the summer. I'm cooler than a fan, bro. When I tell y'all, but my energy is on point and I come correct with everybody that I meet. There should be no reason why. There should be no reason why, bro. People getting irritated at you. People getting unstable around you. Because it's your energy, bro. When I tell you, bro, that we are energy beings, man. And you sit here and you act like you can't put that possibility together in your head and think about it, bro. We are energy beings. You need energy to get up and go to work. You, know, you need energy to lift weights. You need energy to eat food. You need energy to do anything, bro. So when, you, when these people out here that you run into, bro, on the daily, 
and they just having an off day, they don't even got a smile on their face, they don't even hold the, the, the positive body language, everybody you run across bro got their arms crossed, everybody got a, a bad look on their face. And it's because most people are stressed out, to be honest with you. But see, what they don't understand, bro, is that stress comes in more than one ways. You stress out your nervous system, bro. You, you seriously deplete, bro, your cerebral brain fluid. Do you know what kind of elements that we can't even explain with our educational level of what that does to your body? Y'all just look at the word, bro, and you don't even accept it. We are doing some crazy damage out here, bro, when we're depleted of sexual life force energy. Men and women alike, bro, it does the same thing to both our nervous systems. So when you out in public, bro, as much as I am, my job involves talking to a lot of people. I see a lot of people every day, bro. Every day, bro. I deal with people every day, bro. And when I tell you, out of the vast majority of people I run into, most of these people are sexually depleted. Most of these people are nonstop fappers. Most of these people are never consistent, bro. What? What? Wait a minute, man. You trying to tell me you gonna deal with some people in your life that's inconsistent? You wanna deal with people in your life that's inconsistent, bro? That's really what you wanna do? That's backwards. You asking for your life to get tore down. You asking for negative karma to be in your life, bro. These people out here, bro, hate the energy of a retainer. They absolutely hate the energy of a retainer because they don't understand it. They don't understand, bro, how you are so much more different than them. Why aren't you walking around with a nasty attitude? Why aren't you walking around with your arms crossed? Why are you being antisocial? Why you ain't put the energy into your haircut, into your beard grooming? into your outfit. This is that shit that they don't understand. Because only as a retainer you would understand that this energy, bro, has got you on a whole nother level. Bro, I had to tell somebody today, and I didn't mean this literally, but I just, the energy, bro, I told somebody today, they said, man, you look nice today. I said, I'm on my Tony Montana today. And I meant that. This is that energy, bro. What? What? You think The Rock had a persona in the WWE? What? This type of energy, man, got you feeling like you are untouchable. You are one step ahead of everybody else, my God. Your energy does not de uh, de deplete. Your energy stays high all day long. You have no crashes. You have no brain fog. You ready to accept any challenge that comes before you. 
I told y'all how I was acting when I went in the gym and I played basketball with these young cats. Y'all remember that, right? I told you how I was lighting these dudes up, man. And I'm almost double their age. I told you how I don't all like to work out consistently because I got different injuries from football. So I'm not consistent with the weights. I personally don't care. But I can take months and months and months out of the gym, not because I'm being lazy. No, man, I got better things to do with my life than pump weights. You see, I'm not clowning anybody who does that, but guys, you have so much other places you could put that energy, man. If you think about the energy you use to lift weights, I mean, this is almost the same type amount of energy you use to have intercourse. And you start directing that energy, bro, into yourself in a more personal way. Educating yourself being on a healthy diet learning how to detox the body hell even studying health which is uh, a 15 20 year course y'all think i'm capping i told you i not too many people can give health advice if they haven't studied it for 10 plus years at least you you have to study to know all these things and this is how sharp your brain works when I say you become a boss, bro, I am nothing less. Let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you this. The confidence, okay, the solidness, people can see that a mile away. Bro, I told you I'm in an environment where no one comes in that looks like me. No one no one and I get treated so great by the people now there's some exceptions and I'm going to talk about that but for the most part I get treated great by everyone I have the most amazing conversations I be having people look over and d jumping into our business and what we talking about that's the type of energy I be putting out on these people bro You have an uncanny ability to tap in. You have an uncanny ability, bro, to gain the trust of another human being within a personal space. Do you know how much confidence that takes? Do you know how much drive? Do you know how much determination? Do you know how much focus? Do you know, do you know how much God-given ability to tap in, bro? that takes this is why when you do this s-h-i-t for real you unlock everything there is to unlock in this game for your character and you're able to navigate bro communicate bro tap in bro to everybody you come across. Do you know what kind of millionaire moves that is, players? Do you know what kind of aura, do you know what kind of thought now you've left on other people when they're in your presence? Bro, everywhere I go, people know who I am. You think I'm bullshit. You can say it's cocky, I don't care. That means you you don't understand what it's like. You don't have the movie, the movie star energy. You don't got that. So you're jealous and you're mad. That's something that everybody can do. Only person you can be mad at is yourself. You can't be mad at me for sitting up here thinking I'm being some kind of way. Mother effort, I put in work for this. So you a hater, huh? So you're a hater. You're a hater for that guy who went to work for all of them years and bought himself a nice brand new ZL6 Corvette. Now you hating on him? 
It goes both ways, bro. You can't hate on somebody that looks cocky to you. You can't hate on somebody that got more swag than you. You can't hate on somebody who can sit up here on the camera and tell other folks how to get lit. You can't get mad at this. And the craziest part about retention for me is, bro, that we're meant to be doing it right now. We're meant to be doing it right now. We have lived off the chain, unleashed, raw, savage, beast mode life in humanity since we've been born. There has been pornographic material, prostitution, all of this stuff we have seen. We know what it is, we know what it does. It is time for human civilization to evolve. It is time for human civilization, bro, to rise to their higher self. And the only way you're going to do that is we go back to zero point to a time where you and I, and definitely not anybody in the public eye, is going to know the truth about but I tell you this much, when you retain your seed to high levels, you get all of the information that anybody else who's came here knows. And you think I'm full of ish. Like I said, you can't hate on me. You sit in your seat. You wanted to stay there. Don't get mad at me because I know what it is. What you understand is you understand that when you go back to zero point, you go back to a time, bro, where men were retaining their seed. Women weren't out here giving up their bodies because they're not in a patriarchal system. And when they have no rights and they're sitting here going along with everything they can do just to survive, if you go back to a system that was pre that, what you have is you have hard men going out in this world, going out in this society and getting it the hard way. There was no women walking around in yoga pants. There was no laptops for you to go reach in your drawers. There was none of that. You had to be the man. You had to have a plan. You had to be masculine and you had to be intelligent. This is why SR is the grind of all grinds. And this is why you're going to get haters, bro. Like watching me right through this screen. Mad because they can't get no swag like this. And it's not even me. It's my essence. It's my life force energy doing this. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit. I'm tapped in. Bro, life is way better. Way better over here. This is the train to going somewhere. somewhere that's what train i'm on and guess what guess what guess what i don't see nobody else on my train nigga. you have to put in the work to receive the benefits that you want It's that easy. All it takes, all it takes is for you to go in beast mode. All it takes is for you to go in the zone. All it takes is that all that damn energy you put in to play in that damn 2K2 
video game. All it takes is that same energy that you put it towards yourself. And you tell yourself that no matter what happens, I'm going to make a vow and I'm not going to break it. And that's on me. When you can have that conversation with yourself and you honor yourself, you know you are a real mother effort. Now you know you somebody serious. You can be taken seriously. But until then, you just a little boy. You a little boy. And pretty soon, the way this society going, little boys ain't gonna get no na-na. Little boys ain't gonna be running no big businesses. Little boys ain't gonna be making no boss moves. Little boys are still gonna be playing with their toys. And us real men out here, bro, gonna have more women than we know what to do with. Because we understood the trade-off of working hard versus playing. This is what those millionaires do. This is what those billionaires do. They work hard, stay focused, disappear. The next time that you see them, the next time you see them, they gonna be on top. And this is the grind on SR. And personally, it gets you there on a much quicker flight than any other path that you can take in your life. So if you ready to take yourself to the next level, you ready, bro. You ready, bro, to have haters. You want them, because that lets you know you're doing everything right. And they ain't. They ain't. Anytime you have a hater, bro, that's somebody jealous of something you got. When instead, they can stop feeling sorry for themselves. Look in the mirror. Use that hate and motivation that they project to everybody else. And take their life by the horns and live the life live the life bro that they always dreamed I'm on the train to somewhere up there's nobody else on this train and I'm getting there day by day every day is a test every day is a learning experience And I tap in. I live in the moment, bro. People love me, bro. I'm happy at what I do, bro. I have no stress. All of my energy is flowing through my body. It feels like tingling all over my body, bro. And this is why I'm so sensitive. This is why I'm so psychic. Because this energy, bro, creates a field. And anybody that comes within that field, you tap into their energy. Let me give you an analogy so you understand. We all have very small hairs on our body. When you're just sitting there chilling one day and a fly or some tiny little bug or some piece of hair flies on your body, do you not instantly feel it? And to know that it's not even touching your skin, but that's your hair, which is on the outside of your skin, which is a part of your auric field. This is that energy, bro, that you have when you're not wasting it. It's giving you life. It's making your skin glow. And making everything that you do, bro, just flow. 
and you live, you live in peace. You want to help people. You're creating the best karma. Do you hear me? You're creating the best karma. This is why your life is so great. You sleep so good. You're not tripping on nobody. I talk to everybody. And I'm just being genuine. And they like me. All of you can do this. All of you have this energy. All of you have this power. All of you have this swag. All I want y'all to do, bro, is understand that you have ran out of time. I used to tell you, you don't have much time left. You have ran out of time if you did not get on your grind. You have ran out of time. Now you won't have to sit back and watch people you knew you watched elevate right in front of you when you could have been right there with them and y'all could have rose together this is the reason i created this my part of the community because that's what i'm trying to tap into with y'all how many times do you hear me say i want y'all everything's i want y'all because I'm feeling it. All I want is for others to be able to fly, bro. I don't want to fly by myself. But every every person I've ever met uses every excuse in the world. I have way, I had way more drama going on than anybody I could ever even know. And you didn't even see me change. Because that is the whole game. The game is to not let this energy take you out of your frame. Just like if you were being strong, you told yourself, look, man, I'm not gonna go eat no damn meats today. And you let that little voice come in your head and end up telling you to eat some meats. That's a battle right there you just lost. And it's the same analogy towards retaining your seed. That's what you're going to battle. You telling me you can't beat that voice? That voice has no control over you. That voice can't make you pick up a gun and go harm somebody. You know this. So, if you cannot defeat if you cannot compete, if you keep making excuses on why you are still defeated, it's your fault that you're depleted. All you have to do, man, all you have to do is say, I'm ready to win. And every person I've ever met in my whole entire life even on video games, always wanted to win. So it's in you. You just got to stop making excuses and want to live the life of the fabulous. Ain't nobody else living the life of this man. There's people that are rich that are miserable. There's people that are filthy rich that are miserable. Most majority rich people are miserable. So why is it that you're chasing money? Y'all don't get it. It's not about money. It's never been about money. It's just about you. It's just about you. The money is not going to make you happy. The money is not going to make you complete. I promise you that it isn't. So if you want to go and bump your head and not listen to a wise 
a wise who who are you gonna trust who are you gonna trust I have told you why pharaohs were allowed to be pharaohs the pharaohs were the most powerful people on the land you're looking at an incarnated pharaoh there is hate there again again if, if you're hating you don't understand and you're not congratulating if there was right now a sign up a job opening for pharaoh none of you negroes would be qualified oh did i just hurt your feelings because i'm telling the truth again So, who are you going to trust? Are you going to believe somebody right now who's walking in their higher purpose? Who is getting downloaded with information to regurgitate to you? Are you going to go read a damn book of some dead guy that you never met? Who you never got in touch with? Who you never got to know? Who you never got to see if they were authentic or not. You guys, the longer you go on this journey, the more knowledge you retain, the more wisdom you gain. The more tapped in you are, the more open you are to all the energies in the world. And when you're tapped in to all the energies in the world, you can then facilitate those energies, translate those energies, and regurgitate those energies to the world. Most of you probably don't want this. You, you don't want it. You don't. Why would you not want to be in a position of being able to wield your creative energy like the most craziest weapon in the world? Why would you not want to be in that position? If it's not for you, then you should never be watching me, first of all. You should never be watching any self-improvement content at all. And you definitely shouldn't be watching any semen retention content at all. This is what this is for. This is what the ultimate goal of SR is. is to get to the level where you can now be this person who is revered most of the time after he's passed away. I told you everything that they know, you will know. There is nothing new under the sun. How do you think they got that information? They got the information because they went on the journey. That is Satan right there trying to block my live stream. That's what you call divine signs. Trying to disturb the message that I'm giving. That is how you become those people that we read about. So why would you be jelly over somebody like me? Why would you not want to? Wait a minute. You're going to go read a book from somebody who passed away. You knew nothing about. You didn't know anything about this person except for when they went on their self-improvement journey on retention, reta retaining their life force energy. And then they, then they made a book about it. But you don't want to listen to nobody, follow nobody, hear nobody in the flesh. Guaranteed went longer than most of these fools. I 
have the knowledge. It's right here. You accumulate it the longer you go. And this goes for anybody. But look where I'm at. I must know something. So understand, if you don't want to do this, that is on you, brothers. Okay? That is on you. But this is what you're going to get to. You're going to get to a level of self-confidence. You're going to be able to speak, create the action, create the thought, and you're going to be able to manifest like that. You're going to learn how to deal with people, which is the biggest currency maker that you can ever imagine. You want to be wealthy, right? How are you going to do that when you don't even know how to deal with people? You want to be able to sell to people. And the way that you do that is with your character, your avatar. And most people, like me, and just like you, we all can read energy. But when you tapped in to this level, you your your skills are far superior than the regular person walking around here. You can bet your ASS on that. You're far superior. Because you've earned that by practicing and harnessing your energy. Just like a, a, a Buddhist monk. Just like somebody who's wielding, you know, the most powerful Jeet Kune Do. They practiced. So their energy got better. This is just like it is with me. So you can't get mad. I put in the work. I am now a master at what I do. And this is what I'm trying to get to you. Everybody has a chance to be one of these people who were revered, written about, followed, appreciated. We all have the ability. Some of us don't even have the ability to do public speaking, to do communications. Well, I'm telling you what is going to get you over that hump. It's the realization of harnessing and, and, and using your sexual energy, bro. It'll, it'll turn anybody into a man. Any man, it will turn you into a man. You have to go, though. You have some, some of us have to go longer than others because some of us are just different. We're all different. We're all built different. We all have different genetics. So most of the time, bro, some people are going to have to go longer than others before they see any kind of results, any kind of benefits. Some don't got to do that. Some don't have a whole lot of self-improvement and proving that they have to do on their life. So understand that if you have to put in a little more time than the next man, don't worry about it. Stop counting your days if you're one of those people who are not seeing any benefits right away. Stop counting your days. You possibly are going to be somebody that's going to have to go a longer duration of time before they get to that place that they want to be. Or a good way to start it, what I would love to do if I had a program, would to just get people to go three months at a time. Because what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to put you into a mind state if you've done this before. And next thing that you, ends up happening, you end up going longer without even knowing it. And it gets longer and longer and longer the way you go. So three months would be the absolute peak that I would give people in a program. Three months. 
And then from there, you start to make your journey as far as you as you could possibly take it. Because at that point, you already have all the discipline built up. At that point, you already have all the knowledge and know-how. You already have the repetition um, drawn out in your head. You know what to do. That's what I would recommend for you. But, as I said, they're going to hate you. But understand, man. Understand. Take that as the biggest compliment ever when they hate you. Take that the biggest compliment ever because that know that shows you that you are on your S H I T. So I invite all kinds of, you know, energy. It can be hate, it could be happiness, okay? Because all it's gonna do is just keep empowering my ship because I transmute energy. I don't let energy affect me. It doesn't affect my aura. It's not, nothing's gonna bring me down. All, all it can do is make me go higher and higher. The more you hate, the more Tony Montana-ish that I'm gonna turn. And I mean that in the most positive way. So think about Tony Montana and how he was a fiery character. Well, I'll just be more positive I'll just start working on my my looks maxing more, 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 more. That's what I'll do with the energy. And that's what I suggest you to do with your energy. Put it somewhere that you know it's going to pay you back tenfold. And for me, the things that I want to do in my life, always consisted with teaching and helping others so why do you think it is that i'm in the position that i'm in today because i've manifested it i wanted this i wanted to be the best leader that i can ever be you've heard me say it i've wrote it down i've manifested it to the moon i've even left left big receipts right here on youtube so every time that video be, is played, my manifestation is being set out again and again and again and again and again. And that, my friend, is how you get what it is you want. Thought, action, manifestation. That's how this world works. So that's all I really wanted to wrap with y'all today, man. I just want to let you know that you need to get prepared. These people ain't gonna like you. These people ain't gonna like you, bro. They ain't gonna like you. <laughs> You're too fly. They're not gonna like you. You're too confident, bro. You look too good. You walk too tall. Your shoulders are too broad. Your beer game's too sharp. You're too cocky. They ain't gonna like you. So what? Because it ain't never did nothing but give me more and more energy. Keep feeding me. I beg you, keep feeding me. Next time, wait till you see what I'm manifesting. You just wait. And I'm going to put it all in your face when it comes time to. Just to show you that this is what I wanted. And I'm going to get what I wanted. Because I have my intentions set on what I want. That's it. So you guys have a good weekend. Y'all be safe out there. Until the next time, have a great day, my goddess. Lion King, out. Mm -hmm.